What should happen if you cast the enlarge spell on an explosive? My thief player set a bomb and hid with a wizard player who was going to ignite it from afar with magic when the guards got close to it. While they waited the wizard got the bright idea to cast enlarge on it and turn one pound of explosive into eight pounds of explosive. I winged it a bit and went with the explosion being twice as large, hitting everyone in 10 feet instead of 5, and dealing an extra 1d4 damage, though that's supposed to be the effect if it's a weapon. Under raw is there proper way to handle an enlarged explosive. Edit. https colon slash slash www.dndbeyond.com slash equipment slash bomb. https colon slash slash www.dndbeyond.com slash spell slash enlarge dash reduce. Enlarge says it grows either an object or a creature and makes it eight times as heavy. The intuitive thing would have been to treat that bomb like it was eight bombs, as eight pounds of C4 would be eight times more powerful than one pound. Though I tried to stick as close to the spell as I could which says attacks with enlarged weapons add an additional 1d4 damage, so I put the damage up by 1d4. As its size also increases by one size category I reasoned that would mean the bombs each creature within 5 feet blast size would go up by one size category to 10 feet. Technically, nothing the explosive would have the same range and damage as before, because spells do only what the description says they do, nothing more or less. And no mention is made of explosives for which there are no real rules for anyway. By the description, the size and weight of an object increases, but there is no other effect. There is a rule for increased weapon damage, though one could argue this is as much to do with the increased heft of the creature wielding it as to the weapon size itself. That said, if the explosive is homebrew, then a DM can apply their own ruling. If the explosive radius is 5 feet, then merely increasing the size of the explosive would automatically increase the radius if you think of it as an aura around the object. And adding an additional 1d4 to match the weapon damage increase is reasonable.